Welcome back to our X4 Foundations playthrough. We are doing the Rebellious Thralls mission. Basically, it's a, kind of a slave rescue mission. We discovered that you know, there's some slaves, there's a hijacked ship, and it's trying to get away, and there might be good contact on that ship that we can make. So we are off to go investigate Rich. that hijacked ship. We uh, still have our SI ship that we needed from the previous mission. So we will take off in just a second here and head off to investigate the ship that Boza apparently divined out of Dal's data. I'm sure this will be very accurate information. And not in any way get me from like that. It's it's big data. Basically what they're doing here. Uh, I'm assuming there's a cloud in the X universe. Alright, so we are on our way to investigate. And we're here at the first waypoint. Autopilot Let's see what we got. Disengaged. This vessel fits the type, but I am not sure if it is indeed the correct one. This one appears to have been abandoned. How strange. You should try to gain entry to it, so that we can extract more details from the ship's internal logs. All right, an abandoned ship, an abandoned Cobra. That's worth a few million. It's a pretty nice ship. So, we can't use Marines here. We have to gain access to it, as Bosa said. So, we're going to basically do a manual capture here. And the idea behind that is you'll get out in your spacesuit, you'll attach an EMP device to the ship, and then once you uh, decrypt. The result, once you detonate the EMP, there'll be data leaks. Once you decrypt the data leak, you will basically uh, be able to claim the ship. Jaguar. The plus side of this method is nobody needs to cut through any holes like uh, a marine capture would. So there's no damage to the ship uh, and no risk of it kind of just blowing up because you brute forced your way into it. Cobra. So we'll uh, go ahead and, you know, fast forward through this part. I did a video on this, um, how to manually capture a ship, something like that, if you want to see the, the gritty details about it. But you just need a spacesuit EMP and then analyze the data leak and then claim it and you're good to go. Okay, we found the data leak. Let's go ahead and decrypt it. Just gotta get close enough. Real close. Oh, dearie me, no. Apparently, this vessel was stopped and its crew taken during the invasion by the Patriarchy. This must all have happened before the gates were reconnected. It is clearly the wrong ship. So let us turn our attention to other possible locations for her whereabouts. So it was the wrong ship. The others, right. I have a lot of bulk data, but can't pinpoint a possible location for our fugitives. Sending it over. This sort of riddle should make your senses tingle. Bozo will help you track them down so that you can negotiate the hostage's release. Okay. How exciting! Dull has 
has provided a considerable number of sensor data logs on ships that have traversed three families sectors on their trade routes. Analyzing the logs and cross-referencing them with cargo records, I was able to identify several vessels worthy of further investigation. I will mark their positions on your map for you. All right, so it's what I was talking about. More ships to go investigate. Let's go on to the next one. All right, we're back. I ended up doing a bunch of other things in between uh, these steps in the mission. So I'm back on my Cerberus in Argon Prime. So we're gonna start this mission up again. And basically we're look, we're gonna investigate a hijack ship. We're gonna go head over there now to look at the next one. It's a bit far away, so we'll uh, hit that fast forward, put on some music, and enjoy the sights. All right, we are at our destination, just about. Make it sure I'm all armed up, just in case there's some hostilities. But uh, here we are. That doesn't look like much. This wreckage appears similar to the vessel we are looking for, but it is of a different type. There is huh. no use in further investigation. Great. So uh, it's going to be a little wild goose chase here. So this is just a piece of space junk, it looks like. Not even a ship. And now we have to uh, go elsewhere. Well, it doesn't seem like I can do anything with it. So I'm going to try to shoot it. Because what else would you do? No, it's just a piece of space junk. It's going to be a little tour of split space, I imagine about now so we're gonna head off to the next waypoint not too far away at least Alright, so that's not looking like a ship that I've ever seen. This vessel appears to be a rock. A, a rock? I got a rock. That's what you got off my sensor data? Obscure readings can result in low levels of certainty. I even checked out this rock to see if there's anything good in it. Like, maybe there was some 
some NVIDIA or something uh, that can do it, but nope. However, it looks like we just have to go to that accelerator. Um, so it's not too far out of our way, but you know, Autopilot this was a rock. Engaged. Can't do much with that rock. And uh, now we're heading further into split territory. Okay, we're here at our next waypoint. Hopefully this is it. I can't imagine they would make us go through more uh, false positives here. This looks like a ship, so that's promising. I had to take off the autopilot because, you know, the autopilot and uh, asteroids don't do all that great. This vessel seems to fit the description provided by Dahl rather well. Maybe you could try asking the pilot whether they recently escaped slavery aboard a split station. Oh, that'll go down well. Seriously, though, just ask them where they're headed or something. What's wrong with asking him? Apparently, can't this ask him. This is your first and only warning. Do not approach any closer or we'll open fire. Comms channel open. I was trying to ask him, but I think getting special menus for that. So, I guess we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. They don't seem very welcoming. He's carrying quite a weight on his shoulders with those other fugitives on board. We'll have to persuade him if we want to get our hostage. I can do that kind of persuasion. Is that really necessary? They only need to think that you're willing to kill. Oh, and try not to damage the crew quarters. All right, so we gotta do a little uh, gunboat diplomacy. That's not even true. I don't think uh, that doesn't make any sense at all. Forget I said that. We're just gonna shoot them until they decide to cooperate. We gotta catch up first. Looks like they hit their afterburner. Shields are low and they sped up quite a bit. But here we go. Get lost. I could also made them hostile, but I wasn't sure if that would affect relations at all since it was a split ship, a pretty family split ship. They actually are taking quite a bit of a beating for me persuade we just we persuade them. Danger. They got, they got black cannons. Sorry, Where did you go? All right, now they want to give us the hostage, but there's a problem here. We need to dock at the ship. If anyone knows what the problem is, you can tell now. I'm still figuring it out. And I just about figured it out right around now. I was like, wait, did they, does this ship have a cargo bay? Why can't I uh, dock with it? So I'm looking at it, seeing if it has a cargo bay. It's a Cobra, so it should, and then I see the cargo bay. And like, oh, yeah. and it's our firing at me again. I don't know why. I don't know what the deal is. But uh, I'm in a Cerberus, a medium. I can't dock there. So I guess when they made the mission, they assumed that the player would still be in their small ship. Well, I'm just gonna buy a ship at, at this wharf, a Jaguar, and then tell, then bring it on down and, and use that to dock. Luckily, they had all the components, so it was just a minute to build it.
All right, my Jaguar is just about here. So I am going to teleport over to it so I can dock at the Cobra. I'll just have my Jaguar. Cerberus kind of wait around Hello. Uh, in case I need it. I can always use a Jaguar for scouting or defense, though, so not a big issue that I needed to do it. Needed to build it and, and use it. Autopilot engaged. All right, Autopilot so now we'll go ahead disengaged. and dock. Cerberus. There's our Cerberus. Oh, I'm not sure why it, where it's going, but I had to change its orders. Well, it's going to dock somewhere for some reason. So, yeah, stay stay near me. Might need you. I don't know. Better be safe than sorry. I put docking computer uh, Mark II on this. Just in case this was going to be a pain to dock at. My docking skills are not the best. Docking granted. And then this other ship showed up. You see it right there. It's not, it hasn't really done anything yet. It's, it's a slave trading ship. Cobra. But uh, it just showed up and kind of sat, sits there. It's a buffalo. I assume it'll be involved at some point. All right. Let's get good old docking computer. Makes this very easy. Just got to get it close. Awaiting orders. Successfully docked. All right, great. I'm not quite sure what to do next. Like, there's doesn't really prompt me if I need to get up, so I got up. Jaguar. And then it says, "Split, go home." Then I get that. You see the split tells me to uh, let's go split. home. Traitor tree, calling humble vessel. Humble vessel will release the split hostage immediately. So this is that other ship. It just contacted split, me. Split, go home. Please comply. The timing of that was rather suspicious. Yes. It is rather suspicious, the timing. All right, so now I basically need to dock at the Buffalo. So I am kind of another taxi service. There's a lot of taxi type missions in, in this chain where I'm just moving people from here to there. It's all right though. These are cool looking ships, so I don't mind getting a good look at them. Buffalo. Look at this buffalo. How cool that is. Ship ship designer did a great job with it. Successfully docked. All right. So again, I'm not really quite sure what to do at the moment. So I uh, take a look at my accounts for some reason. Forget. When in doubt, get up. Before you leave, you better have a little chat with that pilot. You may have made a friend after all. So we need to go chat uh, with the hostage person. And I was waiting for the yellow line to show up. There's the yellow line to tell us where to go. Look at this. The ship is really nice looking, though. Looks like we're going to the bridge. Creature is oh, five star manager. Should hire her. Split not found of outsiders meddling with split matters. Fugitive has been under surveillance. Contact has been made to negotiate hostages' freedom. Hostage situation was under control. This creature's reckless behavior endangers a split life. Nonetheless, this creature did try to rescue one of ours. So, pilots can make amends by attending funeral of split war hero. Pilot, meet our ship at Accelerator in Heart of Acrimony. Pilot, also bring customary gift of caviar. Customary gift of caviar, really. A million credit caviar is a customary gift. Sure. Take advantage of me. Okay, I found some more data on her in the trade station's records. This was apparently a Kirk, a female advisor to male split decision makers. 
These curbs were originally set up by Patriarch Augusta Gilt to temper the worst excesses of Mel Split's enthusiasm. She belongs to Takur Tzink, a minor patriarch who trades in Argon slaves with the Zyarth Patriarchy. She was probably out here to clean up on the fugitive property mess, which causes significant loss of face for her male counterpart. Not that family Takur has much reputation to lose these days. Okay. So we need to go get our caviar, which basically you need 25 space eggs, space fly eggs. Go to any trading uh, building in, in a station Hello. and use the workbench. And you can make the caviar. The space fly eggs are illegal. So basically, this is where we'll kind of end this. I'm going to go start flying back to my headquarters where the safe deposit box is that's where i have all my space fly eggs and i'll go make the caviar and then we will continue on with the next mission after i have that but for this video that's about it thanks for watching and catch you next time